Ho, 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 Merry Christmas everybody. It's that time of year where we have to build a Christmas mock and this year the brick tubers have all decided to build an 8x8 habitat module. I will confess mine doesn't fit into the 8x8 but it sits on an 8x8 base. I'll show you that in a minute. What I've done is I've used a bit of sci-fi inspiration from one of my favourite movies, Aliens, to give Santa a little bit of a help in his workshop. I decided he needed to modernise a few things so let's have a look at my mock. This is the Santa Claus Sleigh Loader 3000. Designed to help Santa load his sleigh as fast as possible, put as many presents as he can as quickly as possible. It turns Santa into a robot. As you can see, this is heavily inspired by the power loader from Aliens. I've always wanted to build one of these. I've put a bit of a twist on it based on a combination of the parts I have, but also what I thought kind of worked for this mock with that red and white theme going on throughout it. There's a few parts I did have to cheat on that I didn't have, but that's not a problem here. Now, it does have a couple of Santa kind of accessories in here as well. What we have is on one side, we have wrapping paper that he can use for any presents he's found that aren't actually wrapped up properly. He's got a blade over here so that he can cut the paper where he needs to. And most importantly, over on this side here, he has carrots for his reindeer, just in case he needs to. There's a couple, and there's another one on the inside there. So yeah, thought that was quite a useful thing for him to have. He's carrying a present here, as you can see, and the powerful claws, hence the Santa claws. We've got the Santa kind of hat on the roof here. We've got Santa with his levers and a control panel here. He can get in and out pretty easily from this. Designed to keep him nice and safe in there while he's loading up these heavy presents ready for his Christmas run. He's got his glasses on as well, just to make sure he's kept himself safe so that no flying objects, because he's gonna be moving quickly while he's moving around in this machine <laughs> flick up. Now, what I've actually built here as well is the actual habitat, which uh, you know, I've, I've kind of stretched the limits on what habitat is. Uh, it is an 8x8 eight eight base, done that perfectly, and it does sit on it perfectly, see? It's on the 8x8 eight eight base, so I think that actually counts as valid. <laughs> what we have here is his workshop. Now, this is meant to be a bit of a mech bay. I ran out of time to build quite as much as I would have liked. I would have liked to have a bit of a decking up here showing how he gets in and out, loading, uh, how they do the maintenance and things like that. But I've tried to do, there's a walkway up here. There's the conveyor belt here where presents are coming in. There's a bit of a backlog of presents here. It looks like he hasn't quite got through everything there. He's got some tools up here that are very important, obviously, to keeping the mech in order. We've got a um, like a, a welding gun there. We've got a spanner and a bat rang. I don't know what it is, a bat rang. No, <laughs> I just thought it would be fun. We've got a hose here for charging up the hydraulics in the suit. And there's a pile of presents here, just random ones I've put together, just, you know, using the stripe effect just to give a bit of character to them. This one's a wind-up one as well. Uh, just to kind of fill up the space a bit and make it look like this really is a working workshop. This is the modern Santa's workshop. It's best I could do in this space. And over here is a safe with all the letters in from the kids that he's working on at the moment, as well as a couple of tools on top here that he might need to do a few more repairs. I've tried to keep the kind of red and white and green kind of Christmassy colours going there. Now I have used some grey over on this side because this is quite a utilitarian space here. Uh, I think there's room to add a few more gauges and things like that. But to be honest, I put most of my effort into this mech because I'm pretty happy with it. I've even tried to put some stuff on the back here as well to kind of liven it up. Now I think there could be a few more things to go on the back there. A little power unit to kind of, you know, make the engine a bit more obvious. I think this is needing just a little bit more, but anyone who's ever built anything like this knows the back is very hard to do. But one thing I'm very happy with is this side profile I think is awesome. I think that really catches the alien theme there. And this is completely rotatable there. It comes off easily too. That is the one weakness at the moment. I need to figure out a way to improve that one. But I am, on the whole, pretty happy. I'll take that claw off and just show you, because it's on these clips here, you can raise them and lower them as well, so you're perfect for posing them around. I think that works really, really well. So putting that back on there, yeah, I think having that 
be movable like that, have those adjustable, it really captures that amazing machine from Alien, I absolutely love it. And then the feet, if you've ever watched the movie, you'll know the feet actually did have rounded backs on them. Now I've gone with white here because it's Santa's, um, Santa colours, you know, the red, white and... I, I didn't feel that putting yellow feet on there would be appropriate, although I may have to build a yellow version of this because I do kind of love it. There are other versions of power loaders out there that I've seen people do, but I wanted to build my own version of it, and this is it. And I've used some parts here to make it very poseable, so everything's on ball joints. These are on ratchet joints, so you know I thought that needed a bit more strength in there. Um, the legs are on ball joints as well, so yeah. Easy, easy, easy to move around. I am pretty chuffed with how that looks. I've always wanted to do it. Uh, my next mock I do, by the way, I will make sure I don't do a vehicle one. <laughs> Sorry, brick tubers. I always do vehicles. <laughs> so that is the Santa Claus Sleigh Loader 3000. I think this will help Santa in modern times as the population grows and he's got more and more to deliver. This will help him stay on top of that. I did say in my podcast the other day that I wanted to get more sci-fi into my builds and I think using aliens as inspiration for a Christmas mock, what better way to do it? <laughs> Let me know in the comments what you think. Think I achieved my goal of sci-fi <laughs> in my mocks? I'm pretty happy with that. I've always wanted to build a power loader. I think it works. Uh, so comments down below. Let me know what you think. Techniques. You know, could I have improved it? What else could I have done to uh, make it? I wanted to make it more of a mech bay. I ran out of parts and time more than anything. Actually, probably more time than parts. I just didn't have the time to do as much as I wanted. So I had to draw that line and stop. Anyway, if you're new here, make sure you hit subscribe. I post regularly. And don't forget to give this video lots of likes and shares and things so people find my video and my channel. Now, like I said, this is part of the BrickTubers Network, a fantastic group of builders. We all do collaborative work sometimes like this. Um, they're all down below here. And if you look in the description underneath this, you will find hopefully links to the videos they've done for this mock. And also their channels are all definitely linked down there. So go and check out all of them and subscribe to them if you haven't found them. I'm going to leave it there and say thank you very much for watching. I've got a couple more videos at the end here for you to watch if you're interested. And thank you so much for joining me. I will see you again very, very soon.